Hello, Jeff here from Provident Sound and Vision. Welcome to our video where we will prove that the quality of electricity feeding audio equipment will make everything sound better. We will demonstrate this in a way that you can experience for yourself through this video. This video is presented by Equitech, the inventor of balanced power. Cleaning up noise is only one benefit of balanced power. The other benefit is that every piece of equipment you feed with balanced power performs at its best. It's like running a sports car on high octane gasoline instead of standard 87. How does it work? It must be snake oil, you say? Not at all. It's quite simple. We'll explain it as simply as possible here, and if you are an electrical engineer or physicist and have technical questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get someone more qualified than me to answer them for all of us to learn from. Speaking of physicists, Equitech Balance Power can be found at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, powering equipment to monitor the Mars rover, and 50 Equitech units are at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, powering scientific test equipment, electron microscopes, and imaging technology for clearer and more accurate results in the lab. So how does it work? In 1992, engineer and inventor Martin Glassband came up with a transformer design that takes the 120 positive leg from the AC electrical grid and splits it into two 60 volt legs that travel on the positive and neutral wires of a power cable toward your equipment. During the mechanical process of splitting the voltage, any noises, hums, or buzzes from the grid power are phase canceled and erased. I experienced this issue firsthand when I co-owned and engineered records at the original Infrasonic Sound Studios in Los Angeles. Right next door, we had a metal fabrication shop. There were two layers of cinder blocks between our neighbors, so we never heard sound from the shop. But there was one machine that they would use on occasion that would send a buzzing sound through all of our power. It sounded like a dentist drill that would appear on a console, guitar amp, or tube microphone at the worst of times. We ended up buying three Equitech units and the problem was solved. Okay, so now we have two cleaned up 60 volt legs feeding the equipment. How does it help the equipment sound better? Every piece of equipment has a bridge rectifier that takes the alternating current from your local grid and converts it to direct current to power the circuit in your equipment. The bridge rectifier looks at the sine wave and takes only the top part of the wave, passing what's below the zero crossing over to the neutral leg. This creates noise or hiss from the power trying to reach the rectifier. With balanced power, the bridge rectifier is not struggling to convert the power to DC and operates more efficiently, enabling your equipment to sound its best. Now, we'll move on to the proof of concept. In the description of this video, you'll find chapter navigation to jump to or repeat the part you find most interesting. While you are there, please like and subscribe to our channel if you like this type of content where you can actually hear the results of audio equipment we work with. For our first demonstration, we have a mix of the song Crossfire by Chris Van. The mix was engineered by our own Brian Gross. We are taking the mix, separating it into stems that will run out of this Lynx Aurora, then through this rack of outboard equipment into a dangerous 2Bus Plus. Then back into Pro Tools printed through a dangerous AD Plus. All we are going to do is swap the power between LADWP and some power strips, and then into the Equitech 2RQ. We'll hear some solo instruments back and forth, then the entire mix. Cutting into the video for a minute, when we were in the studio comparing the results of the tracks with and without Equitech Balance Power, we were all blown away. The kick and bass had more bottom and definition. The snare had more body and crack. The vocals sat in the center like a phantom, and the air and presence made the tracks more intimate and close. Then we uploaded it to YouTube and the compression choked the sound. One thing you can do to make sure you're hearing the tracks at their best is change your YouTube quality to 4K. Look for the settings gear in the bottom left of the YouTube player and go from default to 4K. That should sound better. The other thing you can do is click on the link in the description to a blog post we created where you can stream at high resolution or download the files to your own DAW. Thanks for watching. Now back to the video. Now I'm caught up in the crossfire. I can't even make a move. Caught up in the crossfire. Baby, tell me what to do. For a different sound and frequency response, Brian also whipped up a beat with more low end. We'll hear that too.
thank you for joining us. We are thrilled and honored to be working with Equitech to help make the world a better sounding place. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to experience more content like this where you can experience actual results from audio equipment before spending your hard earned money. We are Provident Sound and Vision and we live to help you sound your best.